wait, I'll have to wait Monday, and oh. we have this beautiful little Charlie here. We're first Charlie, we're eight weeks old, we're told. This is a literal handful. <laughs> As the young people say, no cap. <laughs> A literal handful. Look at this. So Charlie's oh. in here for his first shots and his health check, I think, right? Wellness check. So Dr. Webb, what if someone has a beautiful little puppy line, what do, what are they supposed to do when they're like eight weeks old? When they are eight weeks old, you want to make sure that you keep them sheltered from other high dog traffic areas like the dog park or the neighborhood grassy patch where all the other dog owners walk their dogs. Because at this young age, they do not have the immunity to fight off things like parvovirus. So definitely kind of keep them sheltered. Um, you do want to, if you can, socialize them. Uh, but you only can socialize them with like your family members, dogs that you know are in good health and up to date on their vaccines, or other people, just so they get used to different sights and sounds and voices and touch and different experiences um, to kind of help them as they're developing. But when they're this young, they're pretty open to, to new things. So just nurturing them, making sure that they are kept clean and well fed. Um, you want to make sure that you don't see any signs of illness, making sure that their eyes are nice and clear like this little baby's is. Their ears are clean. Let's check this little baby Charlie's ears. You can see in there, they're nice and clean, no brown or Black discharge or squeaky clean, actually. Good job, Charlie. And that the uh, nose is nice and clear, no discharge or mucus. So those are the kind of things you watch for for signs of illness. And then you want to make sure that you're feeding them appropriately. So you don't want to overfeed them. You want to feed according to the label recommendation, and it's based on their age and their weight. And that will obviously change as they get older but you want to be mindful of the amount, so be sure to measure out the food uh, to make sure that you're not overfeeding. That will also help you when it comes to trying to housebreak them or train, you know, train them so that they're not soiling in the house. Uh, because if you overfeed them, you're kind of setting them up for failure because they're going to make more stool the more you feed them. So if you overfeed them, then they're more inclined to have accidents in the house. So if you're having a tr trouble with housebreaking, consider the ways that you are feeding them. Mm. Uh, make sure you keep them on a good regimen and a consistent schedule because as you feed them consistently you should be able to time uh, the time frame between bowel movements or how long after you fed them they'll have to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So now Charlie's eight weeks old so um, explain the first shots and when should they start? So generally we start the vaccines. Charlie's nibbling on my finger there. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's a little hungry. <laughs> I'm not mom. I'm sorry I don't have any milk. Uh, so generally we start the first shots between six and nine weeks of age. Um, and that is the distemper parvo combination vaccine that we usually give. And we do them in three to four week intervals. Um, and the distemper parvo, it's a combination that protects against several different viruses that dogs can get. And then after they've gotten their third is when you can really start taking them out for walks and beginning to kind of expand their territory, allow them to socialize more with other dogs outside of your close-knit network. What about the rabies, the first rabies shot? The rabies vaccine is given at or after 12 weeks or three months of age. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Wade, if someone wants to get in touch with you when you're not here, how can they reach out to you? What's your, what's your phone number, your address, your website? Okay, so uh, Wincone Animal Hospital is the location that I practice at when I'm not here with my friends at GSAC. Uh, and so we're located at 6701 Wincone Avenue in West Oak Lane, Philadelphia. Our phone number is 215-224-2764. And our website is www.wincodeanimalhospital.com. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Wade. Thank you.